Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. This is the First 15, a video series in which we look at the first 15 minutes of gameplay of a given game. And here's today's given game. It's a game with more names than I know what to do with. This is essentially V-Rally 2. Now I'm playing today on the Sega Dreamcast and uh, even on this platform this game has two names. So it's known in Europe as V-Rally 2 Expert Edition but you can see in the bottom left hand corner it says Test Drive V-Rally. Same game, different name. On the PlayStation 2 in Europe it's called V-Rally 2 Championship Edition and in North America on the PlayStation this game is known as Need for Speed V-Rally 2. So yes, one game four names. This is V Rally 2 and this is part of my sub series within the first 15 where I just look at rally games and I'm very excited about this one so I'm playing today on a Dreamcast using an S video cable to capture as best as I am able to. So let's press start. So we've got one player, two player, three player, four players um, which match up with the four onboard ports for controllers on the Sega Dreamcast and there's our game options display audio memory cards game scores game progression so let's back out let's go one player start and we're going to play 15 minutes as per the title of this you can see here I've actually played this for 25 minutes today uh, I've only played this for about two minutes just to see that it was all running smoothly the other 22 minutes uh, have taken place about four years ago so uh, don't worry you will see me crash no doubt right so let's select this driver and let's pick a car uh, not like that okay I see right let's back out let's create a new driver then let's go J A M I E Oh, that's it you can only have five characters I'm afraid uh, and I can't call him Jamie so it's gonna be Jamie with an I and no E so let's pick our car we've got a Peugeot 206 Hyundai Coupe, Coupe uh, Corolla Brundle Mitsubishi Lancer Toyota Corolla Subaru Impreza uh, Ford Focus Sayat Cordoba, Skoda Octavia, Peugeot 206, and we're back to the beginning. I'm going to pick the Toyota uh, Corolla Brundle. Okay, so let's pick the game mode, and look, we have a track editor. Very nice. Uh, game modes are Time Trial, Arcade, Trophy, and Championship. One car on track, one champ available. Four cars on track in trophy mode, uh, one trophy available. Arcade, four cars on track, two levels available, or time trial, one car on track. So we're going to go to championship. Look at that Evo. Don't you look gorgeous? Right, so... European world experts, but uh, European's the only one which is lit up here, so we will partake in the European Championship. As you can see, it's quite long. England, two stages, Portugal, two, Spain, Italy, Finland, Corsica, French Alps, and Sweden, all with two levels. Okay, European Championship, round one, England, stage one and two. First level's quite long, so let's see our car settings and customization options. Tire selection, you can pick uh, Michelin's uh, tons and tons actually, absolutely tons here. Uh, and I can't remember what the first setting was. So this is no good. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick intermediate I think. Uh, I shouldn't have changed it. Right, there you go. Gearbox, uh, we've got some chassis customization here, so suspension, car height, over and under steer, etc. And we've got brake. So let's back out. 
driving options. Co-pilot. Uh, man. Woman. Let's have a woman on this one. Gearbox auto. Assistance off. Steering. Uh, sensitivity. Medium to uh, low to high. And our controller mapping. Let's have a look at the buttons. There's our steering with the the uh, the joystick. L and R for brake and accelerate. Handbrake with the X. Camera Y. Gear up, gear down. Okay, that all seems fine to me. Let's back out. Back out. And stage times if you want to see what your best times are, etc. So let's start this. And I've got my timer at hand. There's a little Peugeot 206 tearing it up in the English countryside. Right, here we go. So let's start our timer. Three, two, one, now. Go. So we're starting in the third person view. Got some, Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Uh, handling is very light. The, um, the controller doesn't lend itself to easy steering here uh the wow okay i like I like the crowd the um the analog control it's very high the stick on the controller and it it kind of makes it difficult oh look she's like a delian so let's change camera angle there's a further i could definitely run one of them over there's a further um third person even further one so there's three stages of third person view full screen cam bonnet cam i'm liking this i've got to say it looks nice the uh, sound effects are nice the steering is very nice although the controller i really hate this controller always have done i love the crowd there oh shit oh my word and look at this we have driver cam Oh! Over we go. This is feeling lovely. I've got a rumble pack in my controller as well. Um, it's really nice. Really nice overall. I think I might be preferring this to V Rally 3 that I played in this series. Wow. I'm. Yeah, I'm not really handling this. Uh, car very well the handling feels slightly slidey um, pace notes are well read it's just this controller is bugging the living shit out of me no annoying music which is good because uh, we have had a couple of games that try and churn out the banging dance tracks in your ear rolls as you're racing, uh, which actually puts me off. I haven't touched the handbrake yet, which is the X button. So let's give it a little tap here. Not too bad. So you can see in the top right hand corner by the looks of things, it's indicating where I've damaged my car. Um, my gears are fucked. My steering's fucked. My suspension's fucked. Basically my entire car is fucked. Wow, there's the finish. Let's change up my camera angle. Oh, and he's put it in a ditch. Oh, look at that. Got a little man waving his uh, flag. 12 minutes to go. Jamie came first by 12 seconds. Uh, so not the hardest of difficulties, that's for sure. It's lovely to dig out the um, dig out the Dreamcast once more. Uh, I haven't played my Dreamcast in over a year. And I ha actually had to search for it. I didn't know where it was. And uh, oddly, I'd put it away in the Sega Saturn box. I have no idea why. Obviously, the first place I looked for it was in the Dreamcast box, which was empty. Albeit for uh, an unopened Dream Key. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was in the Saturn box. What else was in the Saturn box? Well, naturally, a Sega Saturn it took me about an hour to find because it wasn't in any of the usual places I thought it would be. Right, here we go. Stage two. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Go. Okay, so we've got our uh, lights on this time. 
Oh man. Let's try and get to grips with this steering in this round. Medium right. It's a me, core driver. I like the heads up display. Uh, I like that you can see all of the relevant bits and pieces. 18% uh, of the stage done, for example. Um, you've got your miles per hour down on the bottom right, what gear you're in, your speedo. Uh, oh, shit. Your lap time in the bottom left. It's, it's ticking the right buttons. It's just this controller that's annoying me. Scenery looks beautiful. I'm liking the the sounds. I'm, I'm pretty much I'm sold by this game. I haven't played it on any other format, just uh, on the Dreamcast. I have got another Dreamcast game in this rally series coming up, which will be Sega Rally 2, which I've never been a fan of. But the last time I played it, I hadn't... Oh, shit. Pay attention, boy. I hadn't actually got into rally games per se and I was comparing it directly with my love of oh look at that look at that for attention to detail love it um, I was comparing it directly with my love of Sega Rally 1 and I expected it just to be um, a follow-up to Sega Rally 1 but it isn't in the slightest bit so I am very intrigued as to how I will find Sega Rally 2 after all these years Cannot wait. Go on, clear off or I'll run you down. Right, let's change up again. It gets very murky all of a sudden in the uh, cockpit cam. But I'm liking the detail for, um, for a console of this generation. Uh, I'm very, very much liking the fact that it's got all of these camera angle options. How much are we through? 80%. My car has taken... Oh, fucking hell. It's very murky, this level. My car has taken an absolute beating. My damage meter at the top right is screaming at me. I can just see it flashing out of my peripheral vision. Nice track design. Wow. Uh, and this is handling that you're going to have to practice in order to get good at. There we go. Eight minutes and six seconds left. So I had a replay option there as well. Very nice. Nice little feature. But why did they feel the need to call this game four different things? Nice podium. You don't see that on many rally games. That is a nice, nice touch. V Rally England. There you go, Jamie with no E finished uh, 19 seconds ahead of the competition. So let's crack on. Which of the names do you like best, guys? V Rally 2 Championship Edition, Need for Speed V Rally 2, V Rally 2 Expert Edition, or Test Drive V Rally? Okay, we're going to Portugal. 7,040 meters for stage one. 7,168 for stage two. Uh, let's just crack on and do this. Let's do this bad mother. Look at that Subaru. Geezer face. In fact, the crowd on the right-hand side of the picture were facing the wrong way. Don't know what they were looking at. Maybe something going on in the bush. Three, two, one. Go! Fast ride. Very nice touch that they added a uh, female co-driver. I don't know how many female co-drivers there are out there in the rally world. Um, any of you rally experts will have to fill me in. And let me know if you've played this as well. <laughs> any of the uh, four editions of this, anyway. Maybe you played it on the PlayStation 2 and not on the Dreamcast. Um, oh! Photographer, you see that? That was nice. So round the corner, it just lit up. I like that. I'm going to have to get uh, one of those VGA boxes to output in nice high def. I'm um, 
outputting my Dreamcast currently for an S video cable, which gives adequate results. It doesn't give as nice results as I'd like it to, but I'm just being a bit, you know, my Dreamcast has been, whoa, my Dreamcast has been in storage for over a year now, so um, maybe if I'm going to play it more regularly, I will invest in the uh, the higher graphical option. Oh, come on, man. No, 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 no. This camera angle is doing nothing for me. It's a shame. I, I don't really like um, the third person camera angle in these racing games, but I feel that in this it's a bit easier or at least without any practice it's uh it feels a hell of a lot more natural oh this is a lot less shit than um many of the rally games in this series i very much like it yeah it gets a thumbs up from jamie Got four minutes or so left four minutes and 40 left and we should be able to squeeze in another race Helicopter action there, kill some crowds, that's fine. Air been left. Still not quite getting the balance of the brake and accelerator exactly right just yet. Takes a while for the brake to actually kick in by the feel of it. But it's nice, it's nice and slidey, nice amounts of drift, but not overkill on the drift. The rumbling is quite nice, as nice as can be I suppose, uh, no overkill on the rumble. So this actually came out in 1999, it was also released on uh, PC as well as uh, the PlayStation and the Dreamcast. I said uh, PlayStation 2 earlier. I believe this only came out on PlayStation 1. So uh, I do apologise for my ignorance. Right, here we go. 3 minutes and 21 seconds to go. My car is pretty fucked, so let's just press start to repair as best as possible. And let's get round 2 done. See if we can squeeze it in in three minutes. I don't think I will. Look, they're looking in the wrong way. I don't know that I'll be able to do it, but I shall try. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Off he goes. Going to be really generous. Uh, I like the way you... Uh, Oh my god, you sink into the floor. Nice touch. It's obviously very muddy. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to be very liberal with my um, pressing of the brake in this, but having already flipped my car twice, that tactic doesn't appear to be working. Oh no, not a third time. Come on, man. Really punishing me, this game, for being dog shit. See, I had my hand jammed on the brake there. It didn't appear to be doing much. Hello, goats. Nice that goats and humans alike have come to watch me fail at this level. Oh, through a little tunnel. Squeeze. Nice. Like it. No, no, not again. Fucking hell. If I had time for another game, I'd probably loosen up the... Um, the steering a bit make it a little bit less tight uh, it's not overly tight i just like it to respond a bit quicker so I'd, uh, I'd probably have a little dabble it doesn't feel ideal to me and it appears that all the right options are there in order to fucking hell it just doesn't break it does not stop when you press the brake yeah my car is pretty fucked Let's uh, be heavy on the brake and on the handbrake. Still not really doing too much there. I'm 
Nice. Oh, God. Come on. My car is actually fully struggling. No. Brakes are fucked. That is what it is in this level. My brakes are actually fully fucked. My fault for being such a dick driver. 30 seconds to go. See if we can make it to the finish line without our car breaking down and having to call the RAC. Oh! 18 seconds. Come on, boy. Five, four, two, one. Haven't made it. There's the alarm. That is, oh my god, such spongy ground. Let's uh, just accelerate our way through. Come on. And we'll dismiss that. Hand back on the gas. Oh god, and there's the finish line. Boom. I do like the camera flashes, I've got to say. Right, so there you go. That is the first 15 minutes of um, V-Rally 2 Expert Edition or Test Drive V-Rally or V-Rally 2 Championship Edition or, well, Need for Speed V-Rally 2 or just V-Rally 2 if you can't be bothered to remember which version yours is called quite enjoyable quite enjoyable very frustrating last event there for me um stage two of portugal but very nicely put together little package uh do let me know what you think in the comment section as always guys remember it's your comments that are keeping me interested in this series and uh remember to mash that thumbs up button and uh until the next video i'll see you later